Okay, so the number one question I always get under each of my build guides is, Trista, can you provide your loot filter? And I always tell you, nope, make your own one, don't be lazy, they're too strict, but I don't want to be a dick. So today I just show you basically how I will prepare or make my 1.0 filters. Um, I'm not like a professional or good loot filter builder, whatever you want to call it, but they work for me, okay? Like the this loot filter system in this game is one of the best I've ever seen. So I think it's better for you if I just show you like how I do it so that you can learn and adapt it to your playstyle. That's what it's all about. So I don't understand why everyone is just copy pasting build guides, loot for this, whatever. Just come up with your own shit. I mean, I played, I started this game four years ago with, of course, a couple of other veterans. We basically learned the game from scratch. There was no loot filter. There was no knowledge in gearing affixes, whatever. I think it's really fun to just start out a new game and just, you know, start from scratch without like getting too much information from other streamers, whatever. It's your first playthrough. Just enjoy it. You don't need to rush anything. But here's a little tip, like how you can set up your own build guide. So I, I hope you understand already the basics of a f uh, loot filter. Let's just uh, do it like this. Rogue. Jeez, I cannot write. Rogue filter. Give it whatever color. Bam. Okay, so the first thing that I always do is uh, rarity. I always want to see um, unique set and exalted. It's pretty much the, the classic. Um, this one is something that you don't need to do, but I like to do it because uh, I pretty much play rogue exclusively, but this is, like I said, only just for me. And the next one that I also do is I hide a couple of item times already, something like, um, so I only want to see like swords and daggers. And here, pretty much only bows. In the beginning, I just wait until like, I find a, a two-handed sword. Once I get it, I also hide it. Because the two-handed sword in the beginning is really good if you level with flurry. But once I find a bow, play with a marksman, I already go with it. Like puncture bleed. Um, also with, with blade dancer while I'm leveling, I'm also doing like a puncture bleed setup. And then I switch into armor blades. So this is the start. Then what I like to do is recoloring um, my, idol, my idols. So let's go down here. It's this one. I'm getting all the resistance, life, all this type of shit. Where is it? Vitality, not this. Bam, bam, bam. You can rename it. Let's call it idols. Um, this is the only idols that I basically pick up. So I only want resistances. <clears throat> and the life ones. Resistance is really good in the beginning. And once I finally have like a couple of them um, at the end, I don't know, it's like in Empowered, probably when I start with the first character, it's in Empowered. Um, then I do just simply this. And then you also have a, a little bit more strict filter for your idols, so that it only shows up if you basically have something like uh, like this, Vitality Poison. And you can even like highlight it or whatever, you can do it like this, bam. It's even easier. So this is for, uh, for the idols, pretty much a really easy setup in the beginning, and you pretty much have your, your most important um, like item types for Rogue, which is normally swords, daggers, and bows. That's pretty much what this is all about. Um, it depends a little bit, of course, also on what Falconer will bring. I'll be honest with you, I already played Falconer, but um, I cannot tell you, of course, I'm on an NDA, but we will see in a couple of days. So also here, normally I only want to see like quivers if I play Marksman. Um, if I play Blade, Blade Dancer, then I go dual wield most of the time. So you can go like this, and then you have like the startup. Um, then it depends a little bit, of course, what you want to play. So for Marksman, for example, I will start Hail of Arrows. For Blade Dancer, I would probably start Shadow Daggers if it's not nerfed. Otherwise, I would go Shadow Cascade or Chakram. Um, I use this color. Um, I go, for example, if I play Hail of Arrows, I'll go like this. Just take all the good stuff. Bam. And I have all the important uh, stats for Hail of Arrows. If you go something like, uh, let's say, Chakram. And you just go like this. Oh, it's not Chakram, sorry, it's Shurikens. And then I want this uh, conversion here. This one I usually don't need because this one on gear is better. I think you know what I mean. Um, you can disable it, enable it, whatever you want. If you want to level like also other builds, then you can pretty much decide what you want to do here. Um, another one that I like to do, this is only for myself because I do raw content. Um, I go with this, affixes. <clears throat> Let's see, it's uh, this one. I, I pretty much take everything with me. I don't fucking care if there's good or bad ones, but I want to test stuff for Rogue to give you like a good feedback on 
uh, like all the builds that are basically possible. And then I go here, advanced, more equal. In the beginning, I probably start with uh, tier three. So everything that is tier three or higher, it will highlight. And what I basically do with this, shatter um, or the removal part. So if you do the crafting, have an item with, I don't know, tier three, level two shift, whatever, you can just like remove it and you already have like the, the tiers for it. So like I said, I hope you understand already the basics of uh, crafting. Um, it's just like how basically I set it up so that you understand what I do. This is rogue only. Um, this is in general for, for all the builds. I do it like this, affixes, and this one, um, I'm putting all the rare stats that I really need and that I know that are rare to find. So for example, attributes, normally you always get them like Dex and Vitaly, so I don't need this. And um, for melee, um, normally also this, you can go like melee crit chance, maybe in the beginning if you need it. Shadow daggers, normally you don't need it because you already crit. So you can decide if there's something like special that you need. Normally I skip this one, it skips uh, spell. This one in the beginning is good to get the mana cost down, so I enable this one. For bow, I want all the, the flat sources. The new crit one is also pretty um, important in the beginning. This one crit multi, you can do, go with crit multi, you can go with all the pen here. Normally physical pen, um, lightning pen, you can also go with the chakram. I, I think you know what I mean. So you can get like all the, let's say this one, all the um, rare ones, and normally penetration is hard to get. So I also enable this one, health, increased, hybrid, block I don't need, resistances, you get a lot of affixes early on, potion I go with the cleanse, dodge I go with the increased, um, crit avoidance is good in the beginning, even though I just wait until empowered. I normally don't need this stat, but for you I would probably recommend it to get it. Movement speed, cooldown, that's pretty much it. Um, if you want, you can go something with only ailments uh, like frailty or chill, but normally also to get this, and if you check out let me just show you real quick. If you see, for example, your materials, you go frailty, and you see, okay, I only have like two or whatever in the season start, you just enable it also as well. But normally, like chill, slow, those one you also get really early. So this should be fine. Um, this one is also like a shatter. And I'm not usually going with tier three. I put this like in the beginning, maybe two, because they're more rare and I want to get it, want to get them more often. And once I proceed, like if I'm going into end game, I don't know, already played with a character for a week or so, then I just always increase the number like this, like this. And at the end, I always show like tier five, put the removal on top of it and I get all five affixes. So just that you know, like how the progress is. And that's why I also don't like to share uh, loot filters because at the end, everything is completely strict and it will not help you in the beginning. So I think the thought progress is more important for you than just copying everything that I have. This is the, the one for the beginning. Idols, you can also do like a, I don't know, you can go idols and emphasize this one for rogue. Let's go here. Uh, this one, which one are good here? Let's see. So this one for some builds that likes uh, attack speed. This one with swords is normally better. Uh, which one I would also, the crit multi but dual wheeling is good. This one in the beginning is good. Let's just go through it. I mean, there are not that many. I don't really like to use that many of the, the rogue idols, to be honest. There's like the, the multi-shot and the hail of arrows is good. So if I go like this, I can go with this one. If I go with this, because this one is important for the hail of arrows build. You know what I mean? And also the ballista. Something like this. And then you have the most important um, rogue idols. You put this one out. Here you have the resistance and life idols, and here you have the rogue idols. You can do something like this. Emphasize, non-emphasize, and then you have the most important ones. Um, when I'm around level 5 or something, I do like a recolor. Sorry, not a recolor, I do a hide. And I already hide all the white items. At around level 20 or 30, I also include magic items. And I run around like this. Like pretty early to be honest. So this is like my my normal setup um, that I have while leveling. I only pick up um, yellow items. I of course also know like what the item type uh, names are. So if I go on their option here, um, where is it? I think it's actually don't know where it is. Yeah, the short one. Yeah. Um, I would recommend for veterans to go short. Then you can already see like the name of the of the base type. 
which helps me a lot. I don't need like the the whole, I don't know, like affix names with health or whatever. I just see, I don't know, like a uh, ancient coins and I will click it and then I want to craft it. This is just something that I like to do. Um, that's why I don't like hide rares in the beginning. But once pretty much this is set up, um, you can go even more strict. And this doesn't really ma matter at the end what you do. You can do it like this. Also include rares. And then you go show. For example, if you want to see a couple of endgame bows, I go like this. I go here. And then I know, okay, let's say this one is a good one. This one is a good one for Hail of Arrows. This one is for, for crit builds. And I just do it like this. You can also go the other way around. Like this. Like this, I think here we have to do the the height, and it's just the other way around, like this. And I want to see thread thorn, uh, thread thorn and longbow. Bam. You can do something like this as well. This is up to you if you want to hide more stuff or if you want to show more stuff. And then you put this one basically on the bottom. Then you can go pretty much with every um, yeah with with every item type that you want to do. Also, for example, here next one. Um, I used to do this like in the beginning when I did uh, loot filters, but now I also do more into showing instead of hiding items. I go helmet, and then for example, for all my, my build guides, I know, okay, this one, the crit multiplier is good, this one is usually good. And then I only basically see at the end those two implicits. You do, do the same shit for each item type. Body armor, I know that the one on... Um, the crit multi one and the, the physical one is usually my, my go-to. You do the same with uh, belts. Usually belts, I always go with uh, this one. I think you, you get like the, the drill that I want to do here. But I can show you real quick um, what are the important, one, important ones for me. So when I go on boots, I only want to see Solarum and... Uh, this one because they only have resistances, so this helps out a lot. Um, and let's go with the, with the gloves. Like I said, it's not, you know, it's how I like to do it. It's not like probably like a good idea how I do it, but it works for me. And that's the most important thing. Normally on gloves, I only go for endurance these days. You can put this one in if you need some, some resistances. And also really important for me, because like the rings and amulets, um, where is it here? Amulet. I only usually go with uh, the bone amulet at the end. Where is it here? Put a little bit down. God damn it. Hide. Go with the rings. A lot of clicking. Bam, bam, bam. I like the silver rings. Um, I like these ones. If you need resistances in the beginning, you can also get this this one. But I already know my, my builds at the end. And like normally also in the beginning, I don't like pick up that many items. I just want two silver rings, I want movement speed on my on my boots, and I just rush through Empowered. That's it. In Empowered, I know that I will get all the, the exalted items, so pretty much all the rare items I don't need anymore. It's just to make it easier for me that I don't pick up a lot of shit. And the last one is the Relic. Where is it? Bam, bam, bam. Put this one away. This one. Uh, this one is good for Hail of Arrows, this one is good for most crit builds, those three, and pretty much the loot fill is done. <laughs> I'll be honest, for me, this one is done. I don't need more. I have all the important stuff. This one is depending on the build. This one is for a start if I want to test out rogue builds. Those are the most important affixes that are hard to find. Idols. Hide all the other shit. This is only for me because I play rogue exclusively. Hiding all the, the base types, you can also do it like this. I think you know like what I want to do, what I want to try to say. Um, this is just how I prefer to play it. So everyone can do whatever he wants to do. You can do like a show rule here instead of uh, hiding everything. It's completely up to you, really. It's that easy. And I don't know how long I record now, but you can pretty much set up a loot filter like that quick. That's why I recommend to make your loot filters for yourself. There's also a possibility, of course, for example, Heavy has some really good uh, loot filters for casuals. You can download it. Um, you can also import like loot filters from, from the build planner in my guides. But what I heard, I never really tested it myself, but from what I heard, like those filters are really, really strict and you will miss a lot of items. So it's more important, I think, that people show you how to do it and what's the thought progress behind it. So yeah, here's my loot filter. Not the best, but really easy to do. And if you have any questions, like I said, 
let me know but i hope you understand that i usually don't like to share my filters because it will not do anything for you if i copy this one you will miss also a lot in the beginning so you have to uncheck this it's better that you understand all the rules how to set it up and i always make my loot filters while leveling this is not what i do before so i start the game put out a loot filter with four rules move on level five i add this one level 20 i also hide magic i think you know what i mean so i really hope this one helps you out and see you soon.